Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' never well. Booty, 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 rockin' never well. Good morning. We are here this morning showing you how to take vitals. This is how you release it. All right, so you're gonna start off by just go ahead and putting the cuff on the arm. Make sure you wrap around tightly. Sometimes I like to make sure I put the meter where I can be able to see it. And then you're just gonna go ahead and pump. I usually pump all the way to 140, between 120 to 140. Once you hit the first beep, then you slowly release. Make sure you document your systolic and diastolic pressure and read back the blood pressure to the patient. When taking the blood pressure, I feel as if the manual way is always better than the electronic way because at the end of the day, it's a All right, so you too. Per minute. Um, taking a pulse not only measures the heart rate, but it also measures the heart rhythm and the strength of the pulse. The normal pulse for a healthy adult would range between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Um, usually most people take their pulse either, it'll be this way, where you can kind of feel it. It'll be on this side. And you'll just press down, create a fist, and you can kind of feel it right there. You'll feel the beat. Or another way to take it will be right here. And some people feel it that way. So the pulse is really easy to take. 
Um, the next thing will be respiration rate. So the respiration rate is the number of uh, breaths a person takes per minute. Um, the rate is usually measured when a person is at rest and simply involves counting the number of breaths per one minute. So every time the chest rises, that's all you're looking at. Whenever the chest rises, when they're breathing in and out. Um, some of the normal respiration rates will either range between 12 to 16 beats per minute. That's for an adult. And last one is what is blood pressure? So blood pressure is the force of the blood pushing against the artery walls during contraction and re re relaxation of the heart. higher and the diastolic of 90 or higher so say for instance 150 over 90 that will be stage 2 of high blood pressure so you want to make sure that you're monitoring your high blood pressure when you can so most people may ask questions like this why do I monitor my high blood pressure I mean why do I monitor my blood pressure at home for most people with hypertension home monitoring allows your doctor to monitor how much your blood pressure changes during the day or from day to day um, if you feel as if your high, if your blood pressure is getting too out of control you automatically go to the ER don't just wait to try to contact your doctor because again that's dealing with the heart flow these are the importance as far as for the vital signs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if so, leave comments below and I'll be sure to check it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.